Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? This is off from Wednesday 56. And this is a video about keeping flies away. Um, this looks a little, it ain't old, but it's got a lot of dust on it. I got it on my shelf. And my shelf, as you can see, is not the most, it's organized, I guess, to the extent to what I know what's on the shelf. But it is dusty, as you can tell. Like, really, really dusty. So, but anyhow. This right here is a uh, outdoor fly trap. And I'm pretty much show you guys how to uh, keep flies away. All right. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do is you can see you're gonna cut this top part open. You see, it say cut here for dotted lines, for self-explanatory. Gonna cut that open, and then you wanna add water. You're gonna basically add water to. Right there, so fill line. You want to add water right there, and you basically, whenever you add the water, you just pretty much pour this little green thing up. And what I do, I use zip ties, and I put it wherever I see fit outside to keep the flies away. Um, it will attract a lot of flies, so if you put it close to your door, then a lot of flies will be close to your door. I just recently did that, but I forgot that's what it did. I've been using these things for about three years, and I still somehow did that rookie move. I put it close to the damn door, knowing flies going to be close to the door. But anyhow, um, put it somewhere not close to your walk-in, your walkway going into the house, uh, out in the yard somewhere, and uh, it'll pretty much attract all the flies there. I got about three of them out there right now. Well, this will make the third one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it on open and um, add some water and pretty much show you guys what it looked like after this. All right. All right, I'm back, guys. And this is one of the fly traps. This is an old one, a real old one. This next to the door, that's what I was telling you guys, man. If it's next to the door, if it's next to the door, then it's gonna, uh, it's gonna uh, attract a lot of flies. So try to keep it away from the door. I had 12 more here, so I had double the flies over here, man. So just kind of try to keep it away from the door. I still got that one over there because that one's old. That was like the first one I put out. <clears throat> then I got one right here. This the second one that I just moved. I actually dropped it and wasted a little of the stuff. So it, it stinks like, like heck. I ain't going to lie to you. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see all the flies in there, man. But it's a bunch of flies. And that stuff up the top, at the top up there, that's because I dropped it and I wasted some stuff. But... Like I said, this is an old one as well, but as you can see, it's a bunch of flies in there, maggots. So it, it attracts a bunch of flies, man. It's a bunch of flies. As you can see, all them flies in there. And you just want to keep it away. I'm pretty sure you see all the flies flying around it. So you just want to keep it away. Keep it away from the um, from the door as much as possible, you know. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, just cut that top open. Put some water in there, fill it to that line, and just hang it away from the house as far as your door. I got one hanging on the tree over there. So um, it'll pretty much attract, you know, whatever flies. You got a bunch of fly issues or whatever. It'll, it'll pretty much handle that. And it, it's real good for dogs that live outside. So if you got a dog that live outside and in the cage or whatever, you want to keep flies out from and flies from biting on your dog ears. Uh, you could use you could use this. This will help. And there's also like a um, like a certain lotion that they got, man. It helps you put on your dog, and it helps with uh, keeps flies off your dogs. Uh, I forgot the name of. I hadn't had a dog stay outside in a while. I think I still got some of that stuff, man. But um, you can get that from one of your feed stores, and I say it's like some type of cream, and you just rub it on your hand and rub it on your dog, and it'll keep the flies from biting on your dog ears and pretty much being on your dogs. But but. Um, this fly trap thing, man, it's a, uh, it, it works wonders, especially if you got a, just a, a, a lot of flies flying around your backyard because of poop. Even if you clean up poop, you know, you still gonna miss some, uh, especially if dogs live in the house and you just let them all run out and you clean up the yard, you still gonna miss some poop. So you gonna have flies just around. Even if it ain't poop, it's just gonna be flies, man. So this right here help keep them away. And I say you just keep it away from whatever area you want to chill at, or especially, like I say, from your door area. You don't want the flies flying in and out the house because it will, especially if you got a bunch of them next to the door. But if you keep them away from your walkway area, 
if all the flag gonna pretty much go to that area. So I got three of them out here. I got one here, one there, and I got one on the tree. So uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Fly trap. You know, you can get oh, you can get them from Walmart. You can get them from like I think Chuck Supply got them. Uh, probably any of your feed stores have them, but I know for sure Walmart, Track Supply, um, any of these stores, man, these big brand stores, your Targets and all that, pretty sure that they have them. And I want to say these things about three to five dollars. Go in there and get them. I shouldn't be doing it because I don't get paid for it, but you know, hey, it, just, it is what it is. Fly Trap, make sure you get it. That'll help with the flies, that'll help with all the other stuff. Well, pretty much help with all the fly issues that you got this summer. All right, signing off, Exit 56.